That's what we are doing. We are doing dying because it's Bounce Nation. We are bouncing from 4 p.m. all the way to you know 6:45. So just keep it here. Come on, just too much salamu, too much salamu. Just write. We are on Facebook. We are going to watch you. We are going to watch you. We are going to do that. Lazima salamu zifike. And if you have a request, so let's just request. Yeah. They know. They know. Yeah. So just come through with any request you want. We're going to be sorting that. I love today to Konaila Remix Battle. We have two songs Tim Philin versus Tim King Kingsley. Mm. Tim Philin, to know about your Ojuala Refix. Lea Kali Graf Jones. It's called God's Gonna Open Doors. Open Doors, actually. That's what it's called. So, kawa una ponda saja, una trust to come through for you. That's the song for you. Nakawa una ponda sherehe. Wo utaki kujua, we pan tambua, we nimse sherehe, una panda ku happen. Weka vibaya. Pana si ni sherehe. Kama na compare sherehe na mungo. Zi, mungo ni compare na anything. God is the. Kama una panda tungo mafiti. Si sherehe. So that was my open door si fiti. Tungo mafiti. Ata yu ni ngoma fiti, lakini siye keti kupigia shere ya aji sasa, wewe wacha. Si, naitua hivyo, we'll be happening. Kama tunajua, na tunajua mungu pia. We'll be happening. Yeah. Eh, umata ya na amikubai, we know God. Kwa unajua saadza, unajua nani utafutia. Jita te? Kutu sawa. Wewe <laughs> jibambe tu, jibambe tu. Anyway, hashtag is Bows Nation. Keep watching your favorite. We'll let you know who takes the lead at the end of the show. But right now, kama kama, we have to have a guest on the show to do one... And we know them in a, you know, in a much better way other than just their music. So today is no different. We have an, a writing and a songwriter, a performing and recording artist. He's a rapper. He's a singer. He's just a jack of all trades. Now, when out, we're not like that. Like multi-talented. They, they don't just do one thing. All right. So today we have a rapper in the building, and he goes by the name. Brapa. Karibu maze, karibu sana. Kingsley alipeleka ile mixa yetu nye likuwe nafanya kichichichichichi. Alitoa. So I tried to, but I wish I could caribish. I wish I could welcome guests to you. All right, so welcome to the studio. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Kofiti? Yeah, yeah. Shuge, mtunawana, kutu sawa, vile inafa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the show. So maybe you can just tell us, for the guys at home, our dream rapper ni nani, just tell us, give, give us a brief introduction about yourself. Uh, Alafu, you're going to use the mic. Okay, yeah, nice. okay, nice. Now we're um, talking. Brapa, Brapa is um, an artist from Eldoret. Mm -hmm. your hometown, represent Eldoret, because Eldoret ni hometown. Uh, born Brian Kibet, yondi yo jina serikali ya ID. But jina ya kazi ni Brapa. Uh, it dates all the way back to high school when I started doing music. And uh, Brapa right now is an entrepreneur and a music artist, songwriter, mm -hmm. and a performer. Yeah. yeah. And a filmmaker. And wow. Yeah. Told you. Talent. Uko kujangi watu hivivi. Tukwangi wa chache, bro. Mm-mm. Tunakwanga. You know. But you're interested in music, Ian Zakitambo. You used to listen to your uncle play music. Tell us about that. So urban music. We call Eldoret was kept what one Nairobi. Okay. And I was a very young boy. I think I was in class three, I think. My uncle used to like radio so much. So when I used to follow him everywhere he goes because he had the radio and I liked watching him do stuff mm -hmm. so when he puts on the radio he, he, he does he puts this urban music and i was i was kind of interested but you know i was just a village kid i didn't even know english but when i listen to music <laughs> 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 yeah it just kicks in yeah it yeah. just kicks in so the first song i ever like crammed in my head for like when it started to the end was a song by Econ. I don't remember the name, mm -hmm. but I sang it and my uncle was like, damn, boy, you got talent. Ah, nice. Yeah, and I was so interested. Um, the other, and I have like three uncles. So mm -hmm. the elder uncle mm -hmm. came and the other one told him like, yo, this guy can sing. Yeah. So he asked me, can you sing? I told him, yeah, I can sing. So he gave, he told me, can you go ahead? I sang the song I had done before. And then he said, you're he very good impressed. boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. But you know that means a lot. Because you used to look up to your uncle a lot. He yeah, used to yeah. inspire you. Yeah, 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 a lot. Unaweza, that means a lot. Yeah, yeah. Sababu, you know, growing up in African homes, most times they'll discourage you. Wewe ni nini na muziki, chukua kitabu, usome, achana na muziki. Yeah, true. So that, 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 that must have been, like, really nice, you know. Yeah, it was, ni it was nice. And um, the fact that he liked it, it's, it's because, uh, because he liked music and he saw me do it. Yeah. It was amazing. And it, it's, I think he had not seen somebody do it on one-on-one. Mm -hmm. One-on-one. Uh, yeah. And you went ahead, right after that, you went ahead to record your first single while you're in class six. No, I wrote Classic my first. Classic that I'm going to do studio in a car. Most times, especially okay, what one I review, I just say I'm going to privilege. 
most cases yeah, like yeah. uko like kitambo, in elder kitambo yeah. sidani sidani hey, kitambo uko na privilege i know that is i know so how did that happen how did you manage to record your first single uh, uh, in classic okay like i had a friend called muhammad so i transferred from my local school to boarding school in classics mm. so when i met this guy i told him i think i have talent and he told me can you, which talent i told him i can sing and then he told me can you sing to me and i told him i have my own song so i did the song and he was like yo bro you got a very good song mm -hmm. so he connected me with people because he came from town mm -hmm. and uh but the dream died in classics after that <laughs> after recording the dream died <laughs> yeah dreaming and kufa ibo ka concentrate na vitabu yeah because me likuwa na very strict teacher alikuwa na ito mr to shout out to that shout teacher shout out to mr to bro eh yeah <laughs> so to any teacher who's called to <laughs> 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 yeah, that guy said, "Yo, in this school, nobody does secular music. If mm -hmm. you want to sing, and I'm a choir, I should." He was he was a no nonsense guy. Yeah. And me, I was not conversant so much with the gospel music, mm -hmm. but I just said, "Let the dream will come on." Mm. Yeah. Was, yeah. And it came back when yeah. you were in high school, when you were attending music shows and everything, music festivals. <laughs> That's why you were Allah, you were going to be in your primary. So yeah. the passion came back for music. Tell us about that. Okay, when I was in Form 1, mm. there was a movie called uh, Let It Shine from America. Mm. So there, there, was a, there was a guy who was a pastor's kid and he, he loved doing hip hop music. Um, he fought for it until he, like, he, he, he was allowed by the father to do music. So I was like inspired by him. That was on Saturday. Saturday I was going to enter. On Sunday I wrote my first song mm -hmm. with a, a friend of mine who inspired me. He told me, bro, I can be like that guy on TV. And I told him, I think I know how to sing too. Yeah. So we sat down. Afternoon, Sunday, we wrote our first song. Mm. And it was the talk of uh, school. Talk of town. Yeah. Kula Eldora. Yeah. Yeah. So that's you. when the dream came, and mm -hmm. I started being a musician from that day to date. Yeah, and and uh, that was uh, in, 20, in like in 2018. That's when you recorded. Yeah, my first pull up. single. Pull up. Tell us about that. And how was the experience and everything? Okay, um, I came to Nairobi because I loved music. Mm -hmm. So the but at home, you know, your parents are like, yo, why are you going to do music? How is music going to be in your life? You want this to be part of your life? And I'm like, yeah. So I came to Nairobi, actually, and um, I did not start as a musician. I came, I started as a DJ. Yeah, I went to some academy in town. But my interest, and I DJed for some time in a club in Embakasi. Mm -hmm. And then in 2018, I was like, my, my boys started telling me, bro, you're doing DJing, that's not your stuff. <laughs> Go to the studio. You want ah, those But you can kids. do it, but you can do it all. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, but uh, they they insisted that mm -hmm. they wanted me to do music. Yeah. So my one of my guys started and said I uh, will pay for my first recording. Oh nice. Yeah, so that I can go to the studio. Hey, aren't you lucky? Yeah, I hey. said okay, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but before I recorded Pull Up, I had a couple of songs. So when I hit the studio, the producer was like, "Okay, you're a first time artist." I was like, "Yeah, show me your work." I gave him ten songs. <laughs> and all of them had bars, bars, yeah, and it was complete and, and songs. And you wrote only, yourself. Yeah, I wrote them myself. Yeah. But only Pull Up was a song that was just saying, pull up your socks, nigga, pull up your socks, boy. Ah, that was the only thing I heard. Mm -hmm. So the producer said, uh, you want this song. Right. It does not have any bars, it doesn't have anything, it is just two lines, pull up your socks, boy, pull up your socks, nigga. Mm -hmm. And then the guy was like, okay, you want me to do this? He said, yeah. I'm comfortable with this one. So I went home. He gave me the beat, the demo. I went home for two weeks. I wrote that song for two weeks. Because <laughs> I was confused. This is my first time now in a real studio <laughs> in Nairobi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nilirarua, like a whole notebook, yeah. by the way. And then I, I arranged, I remember I arranged all the papers on the table in Kasema bus. Easy papers. What I don't tell you, I need more than one. I don't tell you, I And then I'm going to make this song. So I yeah. did that, and the song came up, and I went to the studio. We recorded, and that that's and pull it, up. It was pull up. Yeah. And then right after that, you recorded Dunda. Dunda. Dunda ukamwa tuwa tuwa sherehe lazima ukwena anthem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I went to the studio again for the second song, you know, I'm 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 still juggling within music industry yeah. learning. I was doing a lot of learning at this time because you know. You just you just came to the block and you you are the new kid in the block. Mm -hmm. You know nobody knows you. You know nobody, and mm -hmm. then you are trying to learn to learn the the game. So when I decided to go to the studio again, I had a very nice, awesome rap. Yeah. Yeah, I've not released that song today. <laughs> uh, yeah. To death. 
and it is reco- it is fully recorded but so when i went to the studio I, was, i went with that song in mind and i was like going to record this song when i hit the studio producer told me let's do it we did it because i had all the bars i had practiced on a bit that is not the one we are going to do yeah. in the studio but when we recorded after doing that the manager of the studio said uh, can you do another song minus this one because i in my mind i thought maybe he has seen this song is so dope you just gonna do another one first mm-hmm. to create momentum for this one to blow yeah so i recorded dunda Ah, nice. I struggled again writing Dunda because <laughs> Dunda <laughs> I only had uh, you you know that last part of Dunda mm-hmm. the outro yeah. that was the only thing that I we created the, the bit of of Dunda with in the studio mm-hmm. so that was the only only part I had when we were making the beat before the chorus came the chorus came when we were in the studio with the producer ah, we nice. were jamming and then the guy the guy is like yo ongeza rongai hapo ongeza fedha hapo then we were like rocking rocking and yeah. then the song came about I had the verses we recorded that same day and but i hear artists most artists say less ngoma in taking the less the the like least amount of time you don't end up to blow up but you know you move i think sometimes you might work on it you've given it your all five years it comes yeah, yeah. out and it's ah, okay i don't i don't i don't i don't know about that mm-hmm. but you know songs about songs will never like determine how they are going to blow it's all about the fans yeah a song can take four years There's a song that was recorded four years ago can blow up this year. Yeah, true. You really don't have control about it. Especially in the in the age of TikTok. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like and I TikTok yeah, sure. So you cannot trend. really yeah. gauge and say the song yeah. is going to blow up today. Right. Yeah. And then after the after Dunda, you took a break, a yeah. long break. Yeah, I've two taken, years. I've taken a very long break, by the way. Why? Was it why, was it necessary? <laughs> uh, number one, I think it uh, it was necessary because uh, considering the fact that I have been on a break. Everything that has happened when I'm on the, on this break has been um, let's say reflective. Mm-hmm. I've reflected on a lot, I've grown a lot mm-hmm. because now that I'm coming back to the industry, there's a lot mm-hmm. that people are going to feel in the brand Brapa mm-hmm. and the things that I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. It is going to be like a real real show. Right. And I really want to represent my town. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that 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 song I want to talk about Sitika and Isamasa is such It's, oh yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> tell us tell us the inspiration behind that. What does that mean? What well do retina jo washa jua nini unasema filini unaniangusha. Tunakwanga about nation classic tunashindanga tumongea how don't you know that? What does that mean? Okay, such ko sachiga in um, in just simple terms or direct translation it means shake it hadi mwagike nyumbani. That is what it means. Okay. Shake mwagike mtaani. But uh, when the real meaning that I was putting on this uh, uh, is such is you know when we go to hustle, we we are hustling to make ourselves great and big, you know. But that hustle, the people that should feel what we are hustling for is our families. Yeah. So we should the the hustle should reach home. Okay. So I'm just telling people such such and make the hustle get home. All right. Yeah. And. Uh, Nadium came and she was coming up to look at Naskia Hail Mind Entertainment. I've heard the same thing from you. Are you signed and uh, Hail Mind Amar new okay. record to you? Uh, you recorded it. Okay, with them. Li- like uh Hail Mind um the owner of Hail Mind of which I don't think Hail Mind is still there now. Oh, yeah. okay. But uh the 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 owner of Hail Mind at that time we were working. It was just a working relationship that we had. Mm-hmm. I was working with him not under signed terms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was just a a working relationship. Like I was going to the studio record mm-hmm. and uh, my services are private. I was paying for my services. Right. Yeah. And your le- your latest release there's no video yet. It's a limited video. Yeah, there's video. no video. Tell okay, I was to do I was to do I was to do a video last year, mm-hmm. but um I survived a, I survived an accident. Oh. Yeah, so I didn't manage to the time I was supposed to shoot the video was the end of the year. Mm-hmm. We didn't reach that point because i survived an accident okay yeah so sorry about that. like yeah, yeah that's quite unfortunate but you are here 
Yeah, I'm here. You got the God. brains, you still got the swag, you still yeah. got the motivation. I'm yeah. sure there's more ahead. So maybe as you wind up, you can tell us about that. The more ahead, the more to come, okay. what, what you're currently working on and everything. Um, I have a lot of music. I was thinking of uh, compiling them into an EP, mm -hmm. but I'm just going to go for singles right now. Singles first? I yeah, singles EP first. Yeah, yeah. All right, so any shout outs? What were elder rights? Anyone yeah, else tuned in? I have yeah. a lot of shout outs, but <laughs> damn. <laughs> Um, there is uh, Daisy, two Daisies who are friends and they are real close friends of mine. Oh, nice. And then uh, my classmates, KMC, mm -hmm. they are all watching, I think, right now. And those oh. who are not watching, they will sue me for this if I don't say <laughs> a shout out to them. And then I have uh, friends from Eldoret, Outspawn My Hood. Oh, nice. Um, shout out to them. And there's a guy from Eldoret, Outspawn, said I say, shout out to Kingsley. Ah, we love all the right. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. So, so thank you. But uh, before you go, you have to remind guys your socials. What wanna connect? Oh. Na wewe, and go ma wanna, if, wanna stream Wafi and YouTube and everything. Yeah, YouTube. My name is Brapa and Space K E Brapa Space K E. All social media platforms. It's underscore Brapa. Brapa, that is B then rapper. Yeah, but B, it's one word. Rapper. Yeah, one word. Yeah, Brapa actually is brand rapper. Oh, Brian The Rapper. B is for Brian. Ah, nice. I was wondering about that. <laughs> I was meant to ask you later. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, go follow him, of course, and uh, listen to his music, stream his music, even though Asani Hulip was new. So, go stream Brapa music. And, of course, we have his song, so yes. we're going to play it right now at Performier. Uh, do, you know. Once you come here, like yeah. you have to do that. You have to do the thing. All right, hashtag okay. is Bounce Nation. We still he we're still here. We still have a lot.